Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to set up an Apache web server and host a website on Kali Linux. Let's get started. Right now we are in the command terminal of Kali Linux. First of all, let's find the IP address of this machine. The command to do that is ifconfig. Okay, we can see the IP address here which is 10.0.2.15. Now, let's update this machine. The command we'll be using to do that is sudo apt update. You can enter your Kali Linux machine's password here. And the machine is being updated right now. Okay, the machine has been updated. Now let's install Apache Web Server in this Kali Linux machine. The command we'll be using to do that is sudo apt hyphen get install Apache 2. Do you want to continue? Yes. Ein. Apache web server has been successfully installed in this machine. Now, let's see the status of this Apache web server. The command to do that is sudo systemctl status apache2. Okay, we can see here Apache web server is disabled and it's inactive or dead. So now let's start this Apache web server. The command to do that is sudo systemctl start apache2. Okay. The command has been executed but we don't know if it has actually started the Apache web server. So let's once again check the status of Apache web server. sudo systemctl status apache2 and we can see here clearly Apache web server is active and running. Now let's go to a web browser and in the browser we will enter the IP address of this machine which is 10.0.2.15 that we saw earlier and when we enter this IP address we will be directed to the default web page of Apache web server if we see that default Apache web page that means we are ready to host our own website and yes we can see the default Apache web page here. Now, to host our own website, we will have to delete this web page and replace it with our own website. To do that, go back to the command terminal, create a new tab, and change the directory to HTML. CD, VAR, www.html okay the directory has been changed let's see what files are here in this directory you can see we've got two files here index.html and index.nginx debian.html index.html file is the html file which contains the source code of the default web page that Apache web server is hosting. I'm talking about this web page. So in order to host our own website, we will delete this HTML file index.html and replace it with our own HTML file. So let me delete this file. sudo rm index.html once again, password and the file has been deleted. Let's see if that has been done. 
and yes, there's no index.html file here anymore. Now, let me create a new HTML file with the same name index.html to keep things simple. sudo touch index.html Okay, the file has been created. Let's see. Yes, it is here, index.html. Now, we will write our HTML code in this file to create our own website. So, let me open and edit this file. sudo nano index.html Okay, the empty file is here. Now, I'll write my HTML code for my new website here. I'll start with the heading and the heading of this website will be Cybersite. Now I'll also write some text in the body of this website and the text will be welcome to cyber site please hit that like and subscribe button thank you okay this is the website that i just created it's a very simple website in your case if you want to write more codes here and make your website more sophisticated you can do that for now i'll save and exit this file you can hit ctrl x shift y and hit enter okay the file has been saved now let me restart Apache web server to apply all the changes that we just made. The command to do that is sudo systemctl restart Apache 2. And yes, Apache web server has been restarted. Now, let's go back to the web browser once again. And as we have deleted this web page and replaced it with our own website if we refresh this browser then we should be able to see our own website so let me do that and here we go the default apache web page has been replaced by our own website we've got our heading here and our line of body text this way you can install Apache web server and host a website on Kali Linux. If you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe button. I'll be back with more videos. Thank you.